Hello, garden lovers. Wow. Excuse the shadow. But we have another garden battle that has to be addressed right now. So I do need to film this right now because this plant is going to be removed. But first, I wanted to share how we battle this pest problem. And it's almost unrecognizable, but this is an eggplant. And you could see here, got a little web started. And all of those little speckles on the web are spider mites. This time of year, spider mites are very common on eggplants, tomato plants. You could see here the speckled appearance on the leaves. Basically, they're sucking out the chlorophyll of each leaf and they build their webs around the flowers in between the leaves and they slowly destroy the plant. They don't seem to be interested in this dinosaur kale. Don't see any evidence of them on this plant, but they have made their way over to one of my favorite tomato varieties and that is the black beauty delicious beautiful tomato variety and they're already starting to web all on the little flowers which is going to stop them from pollinating and developing see here in there we've got the same pattern on the leaves so those little spider mites are sucking out all the chlorophyll in the leaves and we need to get this addressed right away. And if you've seen our video on the grape leaf skeletonizer where we use the neem oil and the insecticidal soap application to get rid of those little caterpillars, that's the same mixture that we're going to use to address these guys. It's very easy. You just need a few things like the neem oil with azadirectin, some organic soap. We use Dr. Bronner's and a pump sprayer. We're going to get these guys sprayed in the evening, let it set overnight, and then come out in the morning and rinse them off because it is going to be 99 degrees tomorrow. And we don't want the leaves getting burned but this plant is going to be removed. So we'll get it sprayed tonight. Spray all in the tomato plants as well. In the morning, we'll remove this plant and we may be removing some of the lower leaves that have been affected by the spider mites. And then again, we will do another application in about three days, just in case there's some eggs left over. A lot of times these applications don't affect the eggs, but they'll hatch soon enough and then we'll get them sprayed again and that should take care of them. All right, so now I will attach a clip from the grape leaf skeletonizer video where we share the details of the neem oil insecticidal soap recipe. And if you love gardens, make sure to hit the subscribe button. We have an upcoming video soon. It's going to be a garden tour where we go around the garden and share all the beauty growing like this incredible dahlia. This is the red Babylon dahlia. Man, what a beauty. All right, that's it for now. Remember, something doesn't come from nothing. Hope you guys enjoy your week and enjoy your garden. Here we have the cold pressed neem oil with azadiractin that we get from the rusted garden. We are using sal suds by Dr. Bronner's to help the neem oil separate in the water. We're using the Dr. Smith Professional Sprayer. It's a pump sprayer, two and a half gallon. We've marked it to a one gallon mixture. We are mixing in two tablespoons of the neem oil.
and three teaspoons of the Dr. Bronner's soap. Now we're gonna get the air out and shake it up really, really good. Get it nice and foamy. We're gonna soak the leaves on top and underneath. Let it sit overnight and then rinse off in the morning and repeat in three days. All right, that's it for now. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Have a good week and enjoy your garden.